Welcome back to New Rockstars. It's me, MT, and the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Super Bowl trailer finally gave us a look at the method behind the High Evolutionary's madness. But how did that madness lead him into creating Subject 89P13, aka Rocket? And why is Rocket's origin so gosh dang traumatic in the MCU? So let's dive into just how the madman Herbert Wyndham created the mad mammal Rocket. All right, gang, so the new Guardians of the Galaxy 3 trailer promises to finally show us the super messed up origins of one Rocket in the MCU. And it's one origin that unfortunately involves a lot of animal abuse, as shots of baby Rocket being shackled, poked, and prodded, and tattooed as the High Evolutionary's Subject 89P13. And this happens as the High Evolutionary explains that his overall goal behind everything that he does is to create a perfect society, a notion that Rocket says is BS. He didn't want to make things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. According to Rocket, the High Evolutionary is a man who is chronically unhappy with the way evolutionary is playing out in the cosmos and is on a personal mission to make his version of the perfect society filled with the most perfectly evolved life forms. But unfortunately, when it comes to biological scientific advancements, the beings that suffer the most are usually the lab rats, which is exactly what Rocket originally was in the MCU. Like James Gunn has been saying for years now, though he's known as Rocket Raccoon, in the comics, Rocket in the MCU is actually not an Earth raccoon, but rather a genetically modified and cybernetically enhanced alien rat. Subject 89P13 calls itself Rocket, the result of illegal genetic and cybernetic experiments on a lower life form. Even though this looks like a baby raccoon in the trailer, this is actually an alien rat. It's not a raccoon. And this is very much in line with the High Evolutionary from the comics, as the scientist Herbert Wyndham used to experiments on rats in his basement before having a scientific breakthrough in evolution and evolving those rats into bipedal higher life forms with sentience, labeling these newly evolved creatures as his new men, because he sort of viewed himself like a celestial god type being making newer and better versions of life. And at one point, he put all of these new men on a completely new planet that he created himself called Counter Earth, which was originally intended to be his upgraded mirror version of Earth. Basically a planet of evolved alien rats that the High Evolutionary made to look like bipedal animals that the Guardians landed on in that first trailer. Like that planet is Counter Earth. These are all new men, and this is why Yondu refers to Rocket as a rat repeatedly in Guardians 2 after doing his homework on him after meeting him in the first movie. Hey there rat, I know them scientists what made you never gave a rat's ass about you. I ain't done nothing right my whole damn life rat. Rocket Raccoon in the MCU appears to be a prototype version of the New Man race, one of the High Evolutionary's lab rats that he opened up and replaced their body parts with cybernetic enhancements in order for a four-legged rat alien to walk upright after he evolved their intellect. I think it's basically like a two-step process. First, he evolves those alien rats' intellects genetically, and then when their brains turn on, he messes with their skeletal structure with cybernetic enhancements until he gets them to walk upright. And this is why Rocket's back looks so gnarly as he gets changed into his prison uniform in Guardians 1. Like, that's all that metal keeping his vertebrae straight. This is the significance behind the bloody scalpel in the trailer and Rocket being tied up for surgery. He is about to undergo the incredibly painful trauma of having his body torn apart repeatedly in order to evolve. Well, I didn't ask to get made! I didn't ask to be torn apart and put back together over and over and turned into some... Some little monster! And we also get a peek as to the role that the High Evolutionary could have given to Rocket in Guardians 2 as Peter and Rocket argue over who was the better pilot. What are you doing? I've been flying this rig since I was 10 years old. I was cybernetically engineered to pilot a spacecraft. He was cybernetically engineered to be a douchebag. With Rocket saying that he was cybernetically engineered to pilot a spacecraft, I believe that this was him alluding to how the High Evolutionary created him to be one of his pilots for his giant spaceship laboratory that we see the Guardians flying up to in the new trailer. The High Evolutionary needs a workforce to make his cosmic level evolution dreams a reality. In early experiments like Rocket and his love interest Lila were unfortunately likely that very sentient slave labor that he developed. Because that big ass spaceship is not going to fly itself. And I think Rocket calls himself Rocket because he was made to fly the High Evolutionary's rocket. A rocket that I have a feeling was made out of a chunk of rock from the same Mount Wonderbore from Doctor Strange 2. Because in the comics, the High Evolutionary constructed his spaceship in that mountain 
mountain before he took off to the stars. And hey guys, we've got a new place to buy the coolest stuff, nerdriot.shop. We took our merch shop, gave it a glow up, and added a bunch of cool new clothing and gear, handpicked by the team at New Rockstar. If you've been obsessing over The Last of Us as hard as we have, make sure to toss a Lost in the Darkness tea into your go bag before your next post-apocalyptic cross-country road trip. And we have a very stylish line of Quantum Mania tees, hoodies, and beanies featuring cool designs inspired by the upcoming Marvel film. And I even came up with one of these designs myself based on Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, but with Kang in there instead of a naked Italian dude. We're really excited that they're available ahead of the release of the film so that you can order now and wear them to the theater on opening night. You can exchange high fives with other members of the Kang gang in the concession line because that's how the Kang gang rolls. And make sure you throw up the Kang gang gang signs. Kang gang! So to get your hands on those and some very stylish new Rockstars logo designs, head to Nerd riot.shop today and keep an eye out for our upcoming mandalorian season 3 designs they're going to be really great so join the riot over at nerdriot.shop but anyways though we know how they walk upright the question of how the high evolutionary triggered the evolution of small alien rats to turn them into sentient creatures still remains but i believe that this is a question that is answered in both guardians of the galaxy volume 2 and the eternals film as it also sort of answers another burning question why the hell did rocket raccoon steal those annulax batteries from the mega evolved sovereign race. Like, why the hell did he do that in the first place? Well, I believe that Rocket stole those batteries because he was already familiar with this type of yellow energy's evolutionary effect on the nervous system when he was being experimented on by the high evolutionary. And he, like, literally immediately hated the sovereign because they acted like the conceited elitist penises, much like the high evolutionary appears to act in the trailer. He was so conceited because he's like, I have the most evolved intellect of the world. Nobody could talk to me. I'm, I'm floating. I'm doing a little uh, meditating in the air because I'm, I'm so zen. Because if you look back to Rocket after the Guardians defeat that tentacle monster in Guardians 2, he picks up one of the Sovereign's batteries and observes it like he's seen that type of energy before. What are they called again? Anulax batteries. But they're worth thousands of units apiece, which is why the Sovereign hired us to protect them. And later, when the Guardians need a bomb to destroy Ego, notice how he demonstrates this knowledge of this Sovereign evolution energy on living beings when he warns the Guardians about the harbulary bomb's effect on the nervous system. It'll cause a chain reaction throughout his entire nervous system. Meaning what? The entire planet will explode. I think Rocket knew of that coming chain reaction to Ego's nervous system because he underwent a similar reaction himself through this evolution energy that the sovereign race have used to upgrade themselves and their society, as well as make the ultimate being of peak evolution known as Adam Warlock, whose very body is brimming with that same evolution energy as he flies about in the trailer. And I have a feeling that this type of golden energy is the very same type of energy that powers every Eternal, which is why the Deviant Crow was slowly evolving every time he absorbed this harbulary energy out of the Eternals. First with Ajax, and then with Gilgamesh. I understand now. But yeah, that's basically it. I believe the High Evolutionary used this yellow evolution energy to evolve Rocket Raccoon and all the people of Counter-Earth from alien rats and then tore them apart and outfitted their bodies with cybernetic technology to be able to be the ultimate beings and tools of research and warfare for his purposes. Which is why Rocket Raccoon is so damn good at flying ships and making weapons literally out of scraps. I love you so much, Rocket. Please don't die. Please don't die. He's, he's totally gonna die, but please don't die. He's totally gonna die. God, please don't kill him, James. God. I love him so much. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow me at Mastertainment on Twitter if you want to see me tweet some really fun theories and really weird shit. But more importantly, you can follow New Rockstars wherever we are on the social media. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to The Deep Dive, which is launching this weekend. It's our second amazing new channel that we've just started. And Eric Voss has tons of new and amazing videos for you to watch. So subscribe to The Deep Dive today. But again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.